everyone, Frida here here and welcome to today's favorite video for Anthem. Today's video will be theorizing what exactly happened after the human Urg of War and how this links into the current events with the Dominion. At the final battle of Antium and the final stand of Helena Tarsis, the Legion of Dawn managed to push back the Urg of Aggressors one last time for the final victory that humanity needed. Helena Tarsis succumbed to her injuries and was brought back to the fort and buried a hero's burial. The Legion of Dawn went through a transition of the next step to take, with Helena now gone, and then broke up into three factions, with the Sentinels and Freelancers working together, and the Dominion being one of the many enemy factions we face today. But the Urgoth after the war seemed to have disappeared without a trace or evidence of their presence. The Empire that once stood strong and mighty now abandoned and taken over by nature. And the Urgoth as a whole, just a fairy tale to put you to sleep. I've scoured all the lore currently available in the game to see if I can find any bits of information about the after events of the war, but nothing has come up to indicate what happened with the Urgoth. And yet, because of this, I don't believe the Urgoth as a whole were defeated, but rather pushed back to the point of not being capable of fighting anymore. There seems to be a gap left out, not stating what happened through the following days leading to the separation of the Legion of Dawn, which surprises me as considering this event is remembered by many as the greatest and most terrible time for humanity, it would make some sense that a bit of info should have been made present indicating what happened to the faction as a whole. From speculation, it seems that there could be multiple reasonings or outcomes that may have resulted in the events. One, they went into hiding simply because they knew humanity was fighting back and fighting back hard. And with Helena Tarsus at the helm, their forces could be decimated, they went into hiding to recover over time. Number two, to save their fighters and what's left of their kind, they went into hiding to prevent humans from doing the very same thing they subjugated the humans through, and thus waited until the perfect time to pass by, for them to reshow. 3. After the final battle against Helena and her forces, after word spread that Helena was killed, the Urg of Commander, Chief or King, basically made a forceful retreat for their kind to hide away and replan slash regroup, and then attack when the moment was right, as a new fighting humanity again was impossible for them. But, Fighting against them when they're separated may give them a chance to overthrow the humans. A fourth option could be that a ceasefire was put in place between the two kinds in secret, sort of like a major conspiracy behind the scenes. But this doesn't sound like something the Urgoth would do since they just hate humans. The last option could be that they went into hiding fearing something else and not because of the humans, something much worse than humans as a whole, and something that the Urgoth knew they had no chance of fighting. Until we get confirmation, all we can do is theorize on the subject until some further confirmation by the devs are made. So how does this link into our current events? From an interrogated Dominion operative from our first counter in the Cataclysm story, it states that Rara Brom plans to harness and use the Amplification's power to use as a sort of super weapon against all that oppose her and reform the Dominion under her rule, since the monitor's death has led to a power vacuum while also using the Amplification's power to bend reality to her will. While this is happening, their borders are being getting hit hard by, you guessed it, the Urgoth, and it seems like to be getting a lot more worse day by day, week by week for them, and it's coming to the point now where they're becoming desperate to put a stop to them. We know that the Urgoth are fast and naturally strong and are capable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe against a Titan easily. But for them to be causing this much of a problem to the Dominion, who are the most advanced faction currently in game, is something we should be worrying about, as our forts and weaponry alone might not be enough to put an end to them when the time comes for us to fight. Now, when we link this into what the Monitor's plan was originally, it kinda makes sense. The Monitor, although strict and brutal in his ways, was trying to get the Amp from a Christian power to use as a super weapon to put a stop against all those that oppose them and also uses powers to fully make Dominion the strongest force on the planet. First, it was Dr. Harkin who tried to control the Anthem and failed. Then the Monitor, and he failed. And now Vara, unknowingly, is taking up the mantle of responsibility to carry on what the others have failed, and yet I feel like this is history repeating itself. We all know that the Anthem creation isn't something you can control out of the blue. It's unstable, and doesn't like to be controlled. And although both the Monitor and Vara to a degree have managed to control it for their own, it still wasn't successful enough to achieve their goals, as if you listen carefully when you're facing them sometimes, you can hear them scream in pain with the Anthem creation trying to control them. Every time a Dominion High official tries to take control of the Anthem, or any human or such tries to take control of it, they fail. 
The Urgoth are pushing harder on their territory and it seems that the Dominion, although they are highly advanced, can keep up with these attacks and need something large and powerful to end them quickly or temporarily stop them until something else can be used. My final speculation is that we of course stop the Dominion and Vava from causing their cataclysm and taking the Anthem Creation's powers for their own. But because we did this and destroyed one of their hopes of stopping the Urgoth one final time, the Urgoth may, I'm not saying it will, may overrun the Dominion Kingdom with them forcing the retreating or fleeing Dominion to go elsewhere, and thus sets them up for the next story scenario encounter of us dealing with the Urgoth for the first time. Although, Dr. Harkin has mentioned that the Dominion have been getting better at controlling parts of the Anthem of Creation and the Cataclysm over time through their experimentations, and will most likely get to the point of fully mastering it before any other faction does. Take a prime example at looking at the Storm Javelin. That's just one aspect of them using parts of the Anthem Creation into a human-made device to create a sort of hybrid power suit that uses something that we, as humans, shouldn't really be having the power to control, and yet, here we are. At this rate, it may even turn into a full-blown war, as we know the Urgoth don't even like us to begin with, and them seeing the humans being so happy and free, until now, is something that will probably trigger them to go ahead and do a full and large-scale invasion, which may lead to a certain prophecy from occurring. So that concludes the end of the video video, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more content like this, then please leave a like, a sub, or even share with other Anthem lore gurus. And also be sure to follow me on Twitter if you're interested in Anthem and Destiny content as well. Once again guys, thanks for tuning by, and I'll see you in the next one.